David, I gave him very much of two halves this afternoon. How do you sum that one up? I thought we were extremely naive. Um, first half was, was very good. We could have scored more than what we got to. But the game was never done. Um, obviously, the goals that we did score, we've got to be really pleased with the level of how we got ourselves in those areas of the pitch. But that's, uh, that's not enough. It's not enough because the game doesn't just play out because it's comfortable the first half and the second half remains to be the same. So, second half, we didn't start well enough with the ball. We allowed momentum to build in a way that, that put us spending too much time in their own box. Turned the ball over too often. We weren't brave enough to play through pressure. We weren't good enough to play through pressure at the right times. And ultimately, we've, we've, we've shot ourselves in the foot in what, what should have been a fairly, not saying comfortable second half, but it's a naivety that's cost us and an immaturity that's put us in that position. So, just the conversation in there, but simply, second half's not good enough. From your point of view, what were some of the challenges in the second half that gave Braves that opportunity to, to get the three back and get a point this afternoon? Too lo going too long too many times. Um, therefore, the game becomes really open and stretched. They pick up a lot of spaces on, on second and third phase, which in the first half we did particularly well. Not so much, didn't, didn't do that uh, at all well in the second half at all. Um, but, you know, momentum builds. We make a couple of bad decisions, it lead, leads to goals. And off the back of that, you know, you just gradually feel the pressure building at that point. You try and make a couple of changes to just what we want to look like. So when the game does turn over, we've got no bodies in certain areas. But ultimately, it's individual moments that have, that have put us under pressure and led to turning, uh, sort of losing goals. So, you know, we've just had that. That honest chat with the lads under the round, that, that would remain in there, but we've come, you know, it's been made clear um, what wasn't acceptable and why. Players accepting of that and got involved at different points, but ultimately, as I say, we've turned over a theater and you know, leading the first half and, and it does feel like a defeat and, and so it should. And so it should because as I say, to go from where we were to where we got to, it's, it's uh, as I say, it's just naive, it's, it's the, the only way or the best way I can describe it. As disappointing as the result is this afternoon, it will give the boys some points that they can pick upon and, and utilise to learn moving forward for the rest of the season, I suppose. They're going to have to. It's, it's not just about the rest of the season. This is about, about you know, moving forward and what they want to be a career. And if they want, this is this is moving away from academy football. This is moving away from from the feeling of it's okay. You know, we've lost three, we can score four. That's, that stops. That changes. Um, as I say, today we've we've got ourselves in a good position, deservedly so. Maybe we could have scored one or two more. That didn't happen. But the game's never done, and, and I know. I, I've, I've watched Cali Braves, I know what level they can get to in terms of their intensity, etc. But we allowed that to build in the second half and that's something we we need to do much, much better and manage these moments much, much better. Um, take on our defensive responsibilities at, at moments where we know um, it needs to be better and it's not a choice because if you're going to go and play um, our first team or any first team, then you'll get punished if you, if you make some decisions or, or bad moments that... that that, you, that needs to be better. That's that's the way football works, and especially, especially when you get towards men's game. So it's a real sore one. There's, there's no hiding from that, and it's something that, that um, has been clear in the conversation we've had with the players. And um, we have to be able to go to the next game because that that needs to be something that we we uh, we don't allow to happen again.